Well, today we have this lovely little jade horse that needs a repair. And as you can see, it's pretty small. And uh, so uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use Hickstall and some tape uh, to put together what I have. The, um, the missing parts are, there's supposed to be a rain here. Uh, the, I don't have the parts for that, so I'm going to have to make that part, but we're not going to do that today. Today I'm just going to try to put this together and see how far we get. So the way I'm going to repair this is with uh, Hickstall, which you've seen me use before in my other videos, uh, but this time I've let the Hickstall uh, cure part way as you can see it's not runny anymore it's <laughs> it's pretty stiff stuff but it's still very uh, it's kind of like taffy it's it's still a bonding agent at this point and it's right at the tail end of its usefulness but it's it's good because it'll stay where I put it So I need a nice flat level surface here to put this on. While I take off the excess. All right, so I just want to clean up the squeeze out. It's just alcohol on a Q-tip. side here. Yeah. I don't want to glue it to my tile. And I'm going to put some tape on that. Okay, let's make sure that goes in here and sits level. And it does. All right, we'll set that aside and see if we can get these pieces together.
So the trick here is I'm using this Hickstold, which is very thick and at just about the end of its usefulness. If I wait till tomorrow, it will be too thick to use, which is okay, because what I'm going to do tomorrow, I don't need the thick, thickened version of it. So right now, the important thing is to get my alignment of this joint as perfect as I can get it. That way, I think I got it. That way, tomorrow I can put this in a sandbox and glue this on like this use some tape, but I'll glue it together like this. Well, that's tomorrow. For now, I'm going to allow these pieces to cure overnight. Okay, it's the next day, and my Hexel from yesterday has set up, and at least enough to work on it again. So I'm going to take the tape off of this, the base. Still mixed up, ready to go. I'm going to move this over. And so, yesterday I glued part of this leg on and I put it in the sandbox to let gravity hold it in place for me. So now I just need to readjust the horse to get the bottom glued on. Something like this. So, what I'll do is put a drop of Hextel on each one of these leg stumps. I did my job right yesterday. This should go right, line up nicely. Perfect. Okay, and I'm just going to squeeze out off I can't really tell if there is any but I'm wiping as if there is okay looks good Alright, so the uh, epoxy on the legs is all cured now and I'm ready to move on. <clears throat> so it's, I used all the parts I have to build this. And now I have one thing left to do here and I need to duplicate this rain on the other side where it's missing. 
And so what I'm going to do is make a mold, make a, uh, a silicone mold of this side, and use that to uh, make the missing piece. I'm using this stuff. Uh, it's a quick, quick mold, easy mold, silicone mold, two-part mix. You mix it up, and it's ready to go right away. I use this whenever I'm using, when I have to make really small parts because it's just way easier than mixing up the other kind of silicone. You can get this at your local uh, art supply stores or Beverly's or Michael's or whatever. Uh, everybody has it. So what you end up with is a purple and a white portion which you make equal amounts of and we mix them together by hand until it's an even color. With no streaks in it. And then it's ready to go. And it cures in about 20 minutes to a half an hour. Uh, but I let it I don't use it until the next day because I like to let it degas. Otherwise, I get bubbles in my mold. And on a really small part like this rain, that could be problematic. Okay, so that mixes pretty quickly, and we're ready to go here. So, the way I'm going to do this. Just press it around this rain. That's set for a half an hour. There we go. So I took the mold off the horse that I made yesterday, and uh, it's it's cured now. And I took some. <clears throat> modeling clay and dammed up both ends of this trough and I'm gonna fill this now with uh, pigmented Hickstall and so I'm gonna mix up some Hickstall right now alright and I'm gonna pigment this Hickstall with uh, these pigments I have this is the pigment portion of paint these are super fine powders um, a tiny little bit of this stuff goes a long way. So I'm going to mix these in with my Hickstall to get my color I need. Alright, so I just want to get a tiny bit of this on the end of a toothpick. And I do mean tiny bit. Put a tiny bit at a time in here in my clear. And then just begin to stir it. So I'm gonna put a white towel under here so you can see what I'm getting when I mix my color. So I put a little bit at a time in here and we stir it for quite a while to make sure that I get 
all of this mixed in. It's a super, super fine ground powder. And it just takes a while to get it mixed in there. As you can see, it's probably seen it's a little darker than it was a few seconds ago. So I need a translucent mix of this, and it doesn't have to match exactly my stone because the stone itself varies from place to place on the object. And so we'll move the horse over here so you can see color I'm trying to get. So right now I'm just making sure I get this green mixed as best I can. And all I've been doing is stirring and you can see it's getting darker and darker. Well, not darker but more intense color. So I think I've stirred that long enough and now it's time to put a bit of shade into that. I used an extremely small amount of green to get this green in here and now I need a minute quantity compared to that to darken it. So I'm getting one of my blacks that's not as intense as my other blacks. Just get a couple of crumbs of this in here, which I might have too much. We'll see. Doesn't look like it had any effect, but it takes some stirring for it to show up. see my color I'm getting closer but I need to keep stirring it all right so I stirred it a bunch and I think I'm as close as I'm going to get to this color as you can see there's my color match And so, now, get it into my mold. All right, so now we'll fill up the mold. Okay, that'll do it. Now I need to let that set for a couple days until it gets hard. And then we'll take it out of the mold and uh, fit it in place. Alright, so I mixed up a 
pigmented Hyxtal to uh, make this missing rain here. And um, and this is what I got out of it. And it's I don't like the color. It's not quite good enough. And I put the... Uh, I used this mold to make this, and I put this whole thing in my hot box to f accelerate the uh, the curing of this stuff. And what happened was, can you zoom in on this really good? So what I got was this piece with, if you, I don't know if you can see this, there's a whole lot of bubbles in the backside of this. This is the part that was down inside the mold. It was this side was up, exposed to the air. The underside was exposed to the mold, and I, and I laid, I left it overnight for the mold to degas. But when I put it in the hot box, it further accelerated the degassing, and so the bubble came out and got into my mold. And I wasn't too disappointed because I don't like the color of it. So. I remixed it and uh, made a new one with a better color. As you can see, this now matches, and I don't have any bubbles. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Anyway, so now I have this, and I just need to size it to fit in here and it's a little too long and so I'm going to trim it with this fingernail clipper <laughs> and I'll just take off a little bit until it fits there mm -hmm. and that ought to do I think Okay, so I've got my replacement part sized so that it fits in here. So now what I want to do is bond this into place. And in order to do that, I'm going to put a... This is modeling clay. I'm just going to use it to hold my piece in place while the the glue dries. Alright, so I'm going to put a tiny spot of glue. This is thickened Hickstall on here.
is in the place there. Here's our finished horse. 